Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away Cloudy this morning, but I see some blue sky there. Welcome to day six of our trip to Florida, and today we are off to Anna Maria Island. It's a beach day. Um, it nearly wasn't a beach day because looking at the weather this morning, it said it's going to thunderstorm all morning. So I thought it's probably best that we don't go to the beach. Um, and then I looked again when we were eating breakfast, and it said it wasn't going to thunderstorm until five o'clock this evening. So we've taken the chance. Just thought, let's just go with it. Yeah. Go and enjoy the beach. As planned. Yeah. Because um, someone's not feeling too great this morning. Are they? Not too bad. No. She's not, not really full of flames. Right. No. It's basically, Ian decided last night when we had friends around to have a few drinks. He only had three, but Ian doesn't drink and he hasn't drunk for about like three or four years um, and yeah he's got a hangover I don't think it's a hangover yeah well it's, it's a lightweight it's just I just feel headachey sickly hangover so I suggested today instead of going to the beach because it was meant to be fun with storms in that area let's go to Aquatica instead and swap our days round and Ian was like oh, I don't think I can go on flumes I don't think I can go on slides um, so that's obviously one of the reasons as well we decided not to go there. Um, it is one of the issues with only having the 14 day ticket for SeaWorld, Bush and Aquatica is that when you do have bad weather, most of the stuff is outside. So obviously with SeaWorld, like you've got the shows which are water, um, obviously, and then you have the roller coasters that are outside. At Bush Gardens you do have the zoo but the rides are all outside. So when you have got bad weather and they close it, you're a little bit like, well, what do we do now then? Whereas like Disney or Universal have a lot of things that are indoors. Indoor attractions, yes, yeah, it's a bit better. Yeah. But so, what I have noticed is no crowds. Yeah. Like Bush Gardens is quite empty. Sea World's always empty. Mm -hmm. uh, Aquatica wouldn't that busy. No. I mean, when we went to Disney Springs, um, Mickey's also scary. I was like, oh, here and one is. It was just a stampede of, of people. So. Yeah, it was like, here, they, here is everyone, isn't it? Yeah, well, this is where everyone is. Yeah, the parks are, very, the ones we've been in are very quiet. They're great. Practically every ride we've been on has been a walk on, or I think, what's the longest we've queued? Like 25 minutes? Fine, Waddy. Two hours, it's like. <laughs> we didn't do anything at Sea World yesterday. We looked at penguins. I think that's about the only thing we actually penguins. did. They were lovely penguins. But we didn't get to go on any coasters or yeah. see any shows because the show we sat to watch was then cancelled. We just sat there, didn't we? Yeah, it was um, quite poor. But it was still a good day. I think I mentioned already that they gave us a free ticket to come back within the year so we're going to use that um, another time so that's really good because I really didn't think they would give that to us with us having a 14 day ticket um, but they didn't even argue it did they they were just like yep yeah, just scanned our tickets and uh, yeah here's your ticket here's your free ticket so that was good um, but we're going to try again so our plans have changed a little bit initially we were going to be doing Discovery Cove tomorrow and then afterwards we were going to have a barbecue at ours and our friends were going to come over then um, and then yesterday was the Sea World sort of like afternoon evening with them but obviously because it was a washout we changed it around they ended up coming to ours last night we had pizza and some like snacks and stuff and then tomorrow night after Discovery Cove we're now going to go back to Sea World and then hopefully have the whole evening there depending on weather Anyway, today we're going to Anna Maria. We are 38 minutes away. It was about an hour and 50 minutes from our villa. And to get there, we did have to stop for fuel on the way. Um, and we did get 
uh, drink and some sweets. That was from a Shell garage. Um, that was 99 cents for the drink. The sweets were quite expensive though, and there was no prices on anything at all. So you just had to hope for the best, really. Um, we put 30 dollars of fuel in, which took us up to sort of quarter of a tank of 299 fuel. 299 miles. 30 dollars got, and we were quite close to empty. I think we only had about 30 miles. Yeah. We had about 30 miles left, so. It's, it is more expensive to fuel um, than it was before, or, or was it a long time ago? But it's still cheaper than the UK. A lot more cheaper. Because it's done for the gallon. I think it was 3.55 yeah. a gallon. Um, I think $45 would probably fill the entire car, which obviously is not bad, really. One thing I am having issues with though is um, signal. Now I'm on Vodafone and with Vodafone I pay for the international um, package which is, so you can use it basically, I think it's like 81 countries, so you don't have to pay per day, I just pay £5 per month every month for the term of my contract, um, but for the amount of times we come out here it's still beneficial because if you do it daily, I think it's 5 or £6 per day that you go on the internet, whether it's for 30 seconds or for the whole 24 hours, um, so I find it's beneficial for me to have that. However, I haven't had a lot of signal. So we've had times where we've been on the road and I you know if I'm not on the map already I struggle to I have to turn the phone on and off. I don't even know why. I don't know what I'm missing. I don't know if there's something that I need to do or haven't done to get it to work properly. So it's a bit of a ball ache. Um, you could, if you've got Wi-Fi, then I'll get the maps up at the time when you've got the Wi-Fi. I think you can download maps from Google Maps as well, to I'm assuming use offline. I've never tried it, and maybe I should actually have a look, because I think that would help. I don't know how to do it, so I'm going to have to Google it to, to find out. Otherwise, yeah, it has been a bit up and down, which has been quite annoying. Anyway, I will stop talking now. And I will show you once we get a bit closer. And we normally go over water. It's all getting very pretty, doesn't it, at some point. So, yeah, we'll show you then. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? Can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop towards the point um, of the island. I think it's called Bean Point. And um, so we're just gonna just drive straight down, kind of as far as we can go and hope for the best. And if we get lost or, or we can't find anywhere to park, then we're kind of gradually come back down. There are car parks here, which is free parking, but I think they're quite limited. And obviously once they're full, they're full. Then it's a case of having to just try and sort of street park, but there's quite a few sort of rules about like you know you can't be on the road you've obviously got to be aware of um it's people's homes and so on we've never had any issues before where we just drive around a lot trying to find somewhere to, you know suitable to park but like the beach is on your left so this beach is the beach that we want and obviously like i said the other side i think you can get to water <laughs> we're just going to go up 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 and up we found somewhere to park we are over there we are on Fern Street, I believe. And um, so when you're driving along, you'll see no parking signs quite a lot. And it will say no parking between this sign and this sign. And then you'll see some which will say you can park between these two signs. And, and some, that says nothing some, some that says nothing at all. So we've parked where it says nothing at all. 
Now when I looked online, and this has been like repeatedly each time we've come, it always says as long as your tyres are off the road and there is no sign saying no parking, then you can park there. So that's what we've done. There's a sign coming up in a second saying like parking, I'll show you that one when we get there in a sec. So these are the no parking signs. When you see these ones in red, it means you can't park there. And then these are the green parking signs saying that you can park between. So it says on there, park your tyres off pavement. Oh my god, my battery is flashing. Um, yeah, so you can park between those, but obviously you can't park if you're blocking someone's driveway. But yet down there where that car's parked, there's space for about three cars. So there's not a lot of parking. My suggestion would be to get here earlier than the time that we've got here. Then you should hopefully have more chance. So for instance, you can't park there because that sign I showed you down there said no parking on this side. And that one says no parking and there on the corner as well. Wow. I know we've been here before, but we've never been this end. And you can just tell already, it's gonna be really pretty. We're at the very, very tip of Anna Maria Island. And it's beautiful. And look at all the little birds waiting to steal everybody's sandwiches. So according to Ian, it's, it's very busy here in comparison to where we've been before. Island that's always our chosen beach. Actually, it's the only beach we've been to in Florida. Everyone will rave about Clearwater. Um, I just see Clearwater as a really, really busy beach, like going to like Weymouth Beach or something like that, or Bournemouth Beach. Yeah, it's lovely water, but it's exactly the same water here, only this is further down. And well, I just showed you how many people there are. There's like no one here. It's free to park. You have to pay, I think it's like 30, 40 dollars to park in um, Clearwater from some vlogs that I've watched before. So, um, yeah, this is perfect. I'm going to go and get in the water. <laughs> this is the warmest sea I've ever been in. It's like a bath. It's so warm. like. And there's sands like quicksand on your feet. You stand here too long. Yeah, you do think. Mm. Isn't it so warm? <laughs> Towards those people wondering. I'm wondering if it's gonna like pop out of the water at all. I'm not sure what it is.
Oh. Oh. I think it's a manatee. I think I just saw its nose pop out of the water there. Oh. Oh. Now, right at the very point of Anna Maria Island. And it is stunning. I can't see what's happening <laughs> in the screen because the sun is so bright. Does it look? See there? All the way round. I don't know, just the water. Perfect. It really is perfect. If clear water is your thing, fine. But give Anna Maria a go, honestly. It's so nice. It's such a lovely beach and you really do just feel like you're kind of in paradise. I'm not going to lie. It's that nice. I love it. I absolutely love it here. We didn't come last time in 2019 because um, Hurricane Dorian was um, due to hit. So it was better to just avoid coming to like these kind of places or, you know, coming towards the coast. And we were really gutted that we didn't get to do it. So I'm glad we're here now. Can't believe we saw a manatee. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But yet the water, I'm not surprised. It's so warm. So warm. And we're back in the car. Aircon is on. Oh, it's so, so hot, isn't it? I can't. Yeah, I can't see the temperature on my watch because the uh, sat nav's running. Oh, it was really nice to get back into the aircon. We walked back to the car and then we got changed kind of like with a towel kind of up against the car and then up against a bush, didn't we? <laughs> Which worked, okay, it worked, so that was good. Um, one thing to know though that we didn't do is when we were at the car getting ready to leave, um, the little like Anna Maria, I guess, parking warden, maybe that's what she was, mm -hmm. came down on a little golf buggy and she asked if we were staying or leaving and we were like leaving. She goes, oh, okay, fantastic. She goes, just to let you know, in the future, can you make sure that you are facing the direction of traffic? So we weren't. So whether we would have got a ticket for that if she had come over when we weren't there, I don't know. But now we know that. And it kind of rings a bell maybe from last time we come. Obviously, it was a really long time ago. It was 2018 we last come. But it did ring a bell about the facing the traffic. So, yeah, remember that if you come here. But oh boys, it was amazing time at the beach. Did you enjoy the beach? Yeah. Oh, it's gone all misty. There we go. You enjoy the beach? Hello. Did you enjoy the beach? Yes. Did you enjoy the beach? Yeah. Can't see you over there behind me. I can't believe how warm the sea was. Oh yeah, it was very warm. It was so bright. And it wasn't busy, was it? It was very, very busy. Yeah, there's like a whole what? 20 people, if that. <laughs> no, it was really. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. It was nice being at that end. I liked that it was at the very end. Very end at Bean Point, that's called. Um, if you look online for it, it says the best places to park are Fern Street and I want to say it's Gladius Street. Yeah, so here's one of the car parks and um, this is just as you come into Anna Maria Island. I believe it is free to park but can get quite busy so it just depends on what time you get here to whether you'll find a space. And uh, we've never actually been down this end before so I don't know what it's like I would assume it must be nice because it's the same beach. Guys, we have to say quietly we found an alligator in our water outside our villa. Oh my god, I have to go and take it quickly. Right there. So this is our villa. And that there. Here's an alligator. He's just hanging around. Oh yeah, I can see the turtle. Turtle, oh. oh it's just I'm not going to be able to, oh he's gone under now. The gator, when he swam, he was probably about that long. So about your length. He looks tiny. I know. Yeah, but only because you only tail. see his head. I know, but his head's tiny. His nose isn't very long. But here's the thing. He's a tiny one. Where's the mummy?
Well, that was nothing but stressful. Trying to park up at Old Town. We've not been quite late really. Um, there's not really anywhere to park. You like drive around, there's loads of paved, like spaces along the road, but they were all full. Went into the car park where they were charging $10. It's cash only, and I did bring any cash with me. Oh, and we drove around, and then Ian's getting stressed. And I was like, just go around one more time, one more time. And then there were a family that like, going to the car. I was like, are you going? And they're like, yeah, we're going. I was like, oh. I love that Babel's Good. lessons are just robots. Now we're here. They're voiced by native speakers. But we're in so you get the uh, fun spot at the moment. We want to go over to Old Town, so we need to see where we are going to um, get to that, because that's not... Oh, I think it's over there, isn't it? I don't know what way around to get there, right? We're going to try and find it. What do you want to do? That. It's like it's a swing. So that cool. little tiny dark dot that you can see going up is a person. Yeah, no, so it gets you all the way up and then it drops you and you swing. And I really can't do it. You're, You're a massive daredevil. Oh my god. Far too scary. Right, at the moment we're here to look at cars, so let's follow Daddy and let's go and find some fancy cars. Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Ian's in his element. He's obsessed with cars. You're going to learn lots of facts tonight about cars. <laughs> That looks quite mean from the in the camera. <laughs> so they run two different car shows here. Friday nights is muscle cars, and Saturday nights it is classic cars. And I believe that is every Friday and Saturday. So they have all their cars out so you can have a look at them. And then at half past eight, they drive them all through the street. Yeah, I know this one. It's brown. It's poop colour. It's a 340 engine. Sorry. <laughs> what is it though? <laughs> you want that one? Yeah, that one. You should get that one. Or well, the one next to it. No. Aww, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's more <all> fun. <laughs> You've got lights in the front of that one. <laughs> I saw the cars, the classics. I, um, the ones that I really liked was the Falcon. The one with the dog in it. And the Mustangs. There was a Plymouth there as well. Oh, they're all nice. We're just in this shop here and look what we've just found. That's creepy. That actually is like Oh my god. Like, you had that. What I just said. That's massive. That is like real life size girl. Oh, you made a friend. Oh. How much? You look really similar. <laughs> it's even got. Please do not. This is really good. Just looked at this. 24 oh 
I really look like tempted to buy that. I'm emo. You're emo? Emo? No, that's emo. Are you emo? No, emo. Like, I'm all in black. You are all in black. I mean, they're kind of greeny. No, they're black. No, they're green. Look. Them. They're black. Okay, well, I'm in all black and I've got that on me. Yeah, I was in this shop here. Huh? Oh yeah, this is from um, Halloween Horror Nights. That's the original Yeah. From 2020. Got a drink. Got a drink. It's water. Old Town's amazing. Right? They didn't have any health tops in the shops. It's lucky I got it when I think. They did. They're 18 dollars So they felt really cheap. So you got a good one still. Yeah, this really reminds me of being like in Tenerife. So when we went to Tenerife, like you had... Oh, you had a bungee actually, wasn't there? Do you remember? It was by the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Those kind of holidays. Just a bit hotter. I'm not drunk. <laughs> yeah. Right. This is the bit the kids have been waiting for. First time ever at a fun spot. I don't know. I don't know how fun spot works. I don't know if you have to pay per ride or you have to get your pay for a load. Oh, I don't it's know. It's a big queue just to go go kind. It's a big queue to go go kind. You're better off doing that like in the daytime when it's not an event on because I bet it's really quiet. So I'm just gonna have a look to see what ticket prices are like then. So you can get a mega fun pass. $10 each. Huh? Mega fun pass, single yeah, day pass for an improvised and go car. Each. Individual prices. So Jake said mind blower. There's $10 each you got on mind blower. Yeah, so it's a smaller ride then are $5. Alright, the kids have got their own way. They're gonna go on mind blower. Is $10 per person for one ride. If that keeps them quiet, then um, it's $20 well spent, isn't it? <laughs> right. What have we bought today? Petrol, yeah. a drink, and some drinks here. That's all we've actually spent money on today. So far. Yeah, they go front row. Uh -huh. Yeah, Abby wants to do that, which basically is like it drags them up to the top here and just drops them and I it just swings Tom through. Well. You're such a liar! No, no. You know, Alright, I'll pay for you to do it then. Spinny thing goes up. Yeah? I'll go and get the tickets for you then, shall I? You and Abby? Oh, I want the GoPro strap. Oh, yeah, well, not today then. And I'm in the wrong shorts. Oh, not today then. You can't put the GoPro strap on because you're like in something. There's something across you. It's Rich just stuff. your arms out. I've got that in the bag. They're on it. Are they? Nice, they're fun. That was an expensive one minute. Twenty dollars. You see, they liked it. Imagine if we would have gone as well. I know. That's why we don't. Forty dollars. That's what, boom, gone. When we go to um, Winter Wonderland at Hyde Park, that was that nine pounds each. They both did the Munich Loop or something like that. Big coast. They don't have the loops on it. I think it was nine pounds each. This is ten dollars each, so about eight pounds each, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's a lot of money. I guess the passes work out quite good then, because the passes were fifty nine. I think it said fifty nine each. Obviously, still that's a lot of money for one day if all four of us did them. But at least you could go on them multiple times. I just want to see their faces make them up. Yeah, let's see what they uh, see what they thought. <laughs> Really wicked. Yeah. Was it fast? It looks fast. It's fast. Yeah, we saw you across the road. It's a bit of a headbanger. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure this is reusable. Well, no, I've got $20 on it. Oh, exactly. $10 per person. Yeah, but it what doesn't say every time. Thing? Did they scan it? Yeah, so they would have used it. Jake, was it worth $10? Uh, kind of. Like a minute, if that. The only reason I say kind of is because you can go to a theme park and just like have a No ride is stuff. worth $10 each. Oh, well, I'll have my money back then. Oh, I mean, not that yeah. much. Oh, don't, well, that, that'll be worth it. If it's you and me going, it's 35 each. $70. Each? Each. So I just going out alone. Right, we have decided to stop at... Papa John's. Papa John's to get a pizza from last night we had. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you have stuff. It's terrible. <laughs> I really have. <laughs> right, <laughs> we have decided to go to Papa John's to get a pizza that we tried yesterday because it's late. It's 20 <laughs> past 10. <laughs> so today's ended up being a lot later than I expected. We were going to go out for dinner. Couldn't decide where to go. And then realised it's actually going to be really late by the time we actually got served. So we've come to Papa John's. Um, which is actually what we had last night and it was really nice and everyone enjoyed it. So we figured just come and get some pizza, take it back to the villa, eat it. So technically I didn't forget to end the vlog last night, but when I remembered to end the vlog, everyone was asleep and it was really late and I figured if I go out and start chatting, I'm gonna wake everyone up. So I didn't, so I'm ending it now. Um, what did we do yesterday? Oh my God, beach. God, memory's gone already. The beach was fantastic as expected. We absolutely loved it. It was a really, really good day. Old Town was a bit touch and go for a moment because we couldn't find anywhere to park. And I was like, just go around one more time, one more time. And we found somewhere and it ended up being a really nice evening. And then, um, yeah, pizza was good. Come back, watch Home Alone 2. Oh, a little bit of Home Alone 2 anyway, before we all went to bed. Because five minutes. A little bit more than five minutes. Because we had to be up nice and early today because we are going to Discovery Co. Anyway, it's getting really steamy, so I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, give us a like, um, leave us a comment, subscribe. If you're not already, hit the notification bell so you know every time we upload a new video. And we'll see you on the next one. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Night away, older But it doesn't matter